Hello and welcome to Mr. Clicks Flicks. I'm your host, as always, Mr. Clicks, working every day to bring you the best Hero Clicks channel available on YouTube. And in today's video, we're going to go ahead and do an unboxing of the brand new Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Heroes in a Half Shell Hero Clicks set. Uh, this is the second wave of the Hero Clicks series, um, and it's going to feature a bunch of uh, the 1980s cartoon turtles, which are the ones that I'm more familiar of. Uh, as far as I know, I don't know too many of the figures that are in here. Um, I know uh, one of them, Renit Tilly. Uh, she looks like she's really going to be good. Um, but also, before we get too far in here, we want to also make sure to thank our very special sponsors, um, All Star Comics and Games from Facebook. I'm going to have their uh, Facebook page annotated below the video. Please make sure to go and... Uh, Click on them and uh, give them, you know, some of your pre-orders. They will not be beat on prices, and uh, they're always hooking us up with uh, free products so that we can unbox it for you guys. Uh, they gave us an extra countertop display uh, this time, so we're gonna uh, unbox a whole case for you. Um, like I said, go over there, uh, at least oh, like their page, uh, and um, yeah. also, uh, you know, send them some pre-orders if you can. Like I said, their prices are totally awesome. Uh, Plo Koon gets everything shipped out crazy fast. Um, so that's all I have to say about that. Helping me today, in case you couldn't hear him in the background, is Youngblood. Because he still really likes unboxing these things. So, say hi, Sam. you say hi? No, just smile. Alright, guys. Uh, let me uh, get these ready to uh, unbox, and then uh, we'll go ahead and get started. Alright, guys, and we're back. Uh, we're going to go ahead and just unbox these from the top just because it's easier for me to film that way. I'm really looking forward to Bebop and Rocksteady uh, also. So let's see. All right, this is the one Youngblood picked to be first. Uh, let's see what we get. As far as I know, there should be one Super Rare or one Chase per countertop display, or at least that's how it was last time. So let's see how that holds up. Ooh, all right. We got an Uncommon Shredder. And I think it says on the cards where it's from. 1984 comic. There's stat line for you. Very cool. Alright, we got the next one has been selected. I'm hoping for a bunch of foot soldiers again, too. Those things are pretty cool. Alright, let's see. Open this up. And we have... Alopex. Alopex. I guess that's how you'd say his name. He is a rare. I think you get two or three rares per display. So, pretty cool looking there. There's stat line. All right, young blood saying this one's next. And we have our first foot soldier. These are from the comics as opposed to the TV series. This is a uh, Qatar foot soldier stat line for that one. Oh. Hold on, Sam. Ah. All right. Go ahead here. See, we get no turtles yet. That's okay. All right. We got Casey Jones. This is from the cartoon series. There's stat line for him. Very cool. Really excited that this wave has the cartoon ones. Um, later on in life, I got you know acquainted with the the uh, comic books, but uh, you know first love for people in my age group was the uh, cartoon series. All right, so we got our super rare for this one, and it is Krang Subprime. This is from the yeah 2012 animated series. So there's a stat line for that. Really strong figure from the looks of it. Oh, it folds out. A lot of stuff going on here, huh? Alright. So we have our next one selected. Here, why don't you just take the box, buddy, and then work from there. Alright, we got April O'Neil, an uncommon. There's the stat line. Thank you. We got our first turtle. This is Donatello from the cartoon. Stat line for him. 
And um, if you guys want to look at the stat lines uh, a little bit better, you can uh, go ahead and stop on over to HC Realms. Um, I I know a lot of people endorse them. I kind of don't. I've, I've fallen out of love with uh, HC Realms. But their uh, unit section is to be envied. So uh, if you want to look at the stuff over there, go ahead and look at the unit section. It is worth uh, doing that. All right. And we have a Triceraton generic. Very cool. That's a pretty good stat line for a 65 point figure. All right, okay. And we have a Squirrelinoid. Okay, uncommon. That line for that bad boy. This one? Okay. And we have Chen Kong. Uh, and he is an uncommon. There's his card there. Stat line. Pretty good little stat line there from the looks of it. Don't know what the special tires are. I'll go back and look at those later. This is just an unboxing video. <clears throat> All right, another pack. Let's see here. We've only pulled one turtle so far. Kind of surprised about that. All right, got another foot soldier, and this is Twin Katana Foot Soldier. There's his stat line. Hi, Sam. All right. He's telling me I'm not going fast enough. Is what he's doing. We got another foot soldier. This is a nunchuck foot soldier. Oh, I'm sorry, three segment staff. Three segment staff foot soldier. Stat line for him. Pick it up, buddy. Alright, we got a rare Donatello. And it's from the 2011 comic series. These aren't bad stats. Got to figure out what those uh, special powers are. But uh, pretty cool looking figure. So it looks like they have uh, one common set and another rare and probably super rare set of turtles like they did for the last set. Which is fine. I get it. It's a collectible game. So two turtles so far and uh, both were Donatello. Alright, rock steady. One that I really wanted bad. Uh, uncommon. There's his stat line. Not bad for 80 points. I just want him because of the TV show. Him and Bebop. Two of my favorite guys. Another one. Thank you. Hold on, buddy. Hold on. Alright, I got another one here. And this is Irma. And there's her stat line, 60 and 25 points. I've got Looks like another turtle. This one is this time it's different. Uh, this is Raphael. This is the common one. Stat line. Okay, so I got two of the four turtles for the common. Hold on, Bubba. Alright, here's Michelangelo, the common version. So it looks like the turtles are more at the uh, bottom. Or, uh, you know, where you would open the gravity feed. We're getting there. Uh, I love unboxing. It's it's a lot of fun to do, a lot of fun to watch. Oh, and a chase. Shell Electro. I've seen this one floating around on Facebook lately. Um, so, pretty cool. Got a chase and a super rare. Excited about that. There's his stat line. Alright guys, sorry about that. The uh, camera memory card was saying that... Uh, we were full after that one. Uh, so, last one we pulled was uh, Shelectro. So, I've gotten a uh, super.
super rare and a chase, which uh, I'm pleasantly surprised by. I thought you got one or the other. So, here's another one. And we have another Twin Katana uh, Foot Soldier. Thank you. Youngblood's feeding me the uh, the packs here. Fugitoid. Okay, I do remember hearing about this guy. He should be able to carry like four characters. Um, yeah, I remember seeing this guy. Okay, Fugitoid. Another cool one. Only 50 points. They've been doing a lot of uh, like uh, taxis. A lot of really good taxis have been coming out lately. Like uh, Fugitoid, Pixie. Uh, cloak and dagger from Civil War, so it seems like a direction that they're moving in. I I like that direction, personally. So, all right, here's another pack. We got Leonardo, so that should be the last of the common turtles I was looking for. Cool stat line. All right, shouldn't have too many more packs to open before we get through this. We got a Shuriken Foot Soldier. This is the first one of these we got. So it looks like they all have the same stat line Foot Soldiers, but uh, they got different special powers, same as the last series. So. <clears throat> okay. the pack looks like another Triceraton, but this time it's Zog. And it's a rare. Really cool. Stat line for you. Ooh. Running shot. Psychic blast. Always a good place to start. <clears throat> and young bloods tell me this is the last one. And it's a triceraton again. So not like I said though, that first triceraton was pretty good. Alright guys, so let me get this cleaned up and we're gonna go ahead and unbox the other gravity feed. Alright guys, and we're back. Um, we're going to do the second gravity feed, and we're going to see what we got. I can't really imagine that it's going to be much better than our uh, previous gravity feed, where we got a chase and a super rare, but we'll see. Again, we would like to thank uh, All Star Comics and Games for uh, donating some extra product to us and uh, giving us a really good product, or a really good price anytime we do have to buy something. So again, uh, go ahead and like their page on Facebook. You know, send them a uh, pre-order if you can. So let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and uh, get this started. First one is a twin katana foot soldier. Okay, we've already seen him. Next. We have a common Michelangelo. Next, we got an April O'Neil. There's her stat line. I don't know if I got one in the last box. So, there's stat line in case I didn't. Still looking for a bebop. That'd be nice. All right, got a Karai. Uh, she's a rare. Stat line for her. Looks pretty good for 80 points. Got the common Leonardo. Splinter, there's his stat line, and he is a rare, so there's two rares we got. Next we got Common Wrath again. guys. Right. 
Mm -hmm. All right, we got a rare Leonardo. 100 points. Pretty impressive little stat line there. Looks cool too. He's from the uh, 2011 comic series. That should be my three rares, I think. So hoping for a super rare or a chase. Got another Squirrelinoid. Still looking for Renat Tilly. I think she's a super rare, but I'm not sure. Ah, oh, thank goodness. Got a Bebop. Was really hoping for to you know to get the duo Bebop and Rocksteady. Super excited about that. I mean, I don't even care if they're garbage figures or not. Um, all right, so we got Bebop and Rocksteady now. We got another Foot Ninja Shuriken. We got. Ah, there we go. Rennet Tilly. Super rare. And she has some really good stuff going for her. There's her stat line. Uh, she can carry uh, four characters. And then she has a special on her damage. Uh, can use probability control regardless of range and line of fire. For 55 points. is gross. All right. Yay, I got the one that I really desperately wanted. All right. Uh, let's take a look here. What else we get? Another Foot Soldier Shuriken. Another Fugitoid. Get this part out before we make a mistake. <clears throat> We've got Rat King, a rare, cool looking stat line for him. <laughs> got a Triceraton. Looks like I'm getting quite a few Triceratons. I'm not sad about that either. Casey Jones, already saw him. Got another rock steady. This is the next one. Another one of this guy whose name I butchered, butchered uh, Chen Khan. Chen Khan? I don't know. Anyway. Cool. TMNT villain. So. Ah. <clears throat> hi, hi. Okay, so. Might be another chase in here, might not. Donatello Common. Got the uh, Foot Soldier Qatar. Again, that's the second one of those. Got another Shredder from the comic series. Yeah, let's see. We got one more after this, it looks like. Got another three section staff Foot Soldier. And last but not least, let's see what we got. A common Michelangelo. All right, guys, that's all I have for you guys today. As always, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe so that you can be one of the first to view my Hero Clicks videos as they become available. Till next time, please remember that it's only critical miss if you don't have probability control.